Mayor Eric Adams' statement underscores a profound concern for the well-being of young people in New York City. Uh, I saw similar indicators from the Black Lives Matters March uh, when it was uh, brought to my attention uh, that there were those who came to the city to disrupt our city. And she was able, through her team, was able to conduct an investigation. And what I feared was actually materialized and actualized by those who were on the ground. And I know that there are those who are attempting to say, well, the majority of people may have been students. You don't have to be the majority to influence and co-op an operation. That is what this is about. And so if we want to play the word police, uh, you could do so. I want to play the New York City police, where we're going to protect our city from those who are attempting to do what is happening globally. There is a movement to radicalize young people, and I'm not going to wait until it's done and all of a sudden acknowledge the existence of it. This is a global problem that young people are being influenced by those who are professionals at radicalizing our children. And I'm not going to allow that to happen as the mayor of the city of New York. So the men and women of the New York City Police Department, you should be proud of yourself. In addressing the issue of youth protection from radicalization and extremist influences, there is a strong emphasis on democratic values safeguarding societal norms and stability. NYC Mayor Eric Adams acknowledges the vulnerability of young individuals and stresses the significance of personal freedom and authenticity. Radicalization in this context poses a substantial threat to young people's autonomy and decision-making. Mayor Adams warns about external entities sympathizing with local protests like the pro-Palestinian movements, utilizing them to further their own agendas. This concern revolves around the potential manipulation of youth by external forces, leading to community discord. Mayor Adams assumes a law enforcement role, notably through the New York City Police Department, to shield the city from detrimental impacts. Prioritizing the enforcement of laws and regulations as a conservative approach to upholding societal order and security.